A rattan chair woven together in a light brown hue with a balloon back and round base is familiar. From baby showers to Huey P. Newton's famous photo, this chair has been special to us for generations. But why? This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. For generations, our people have posed with the utmost regalness in wooden peacock chairs, and somewhere along the way, it became the most powerful symbol of our liberation and resistance. The peacock chair is uniquely ours. Dozens of black icons have been photographed sitting in one, and although its origins are debated, we turned it into a cultural emblem. Huey Newton's photo was taken on the heels of Bloody Sunday and at the turning point of the Civil Rights Movement. The Black Panthers were in the community making education and food accessible. They were doing the work, and over time, the peacock chair became a powerful symbol of Black liberation. Everyone from Al Green to Diana Ross has been pictured in the iconic chair, with many of our households owning one at some point. In Michelle Obama's high school prom photo, she posed regally in a peacock chair herself. It's always been much deeper than just being a seat. The peacock chair is a throne in our community and a symbol of resistance, power, and self-determination. It's an unabashed way to say, I'm black and I'm proud, without muttering a word. Our liberation doesn't start and stop with symbols, but they're powerful tools. We're imagining and creating a new world where our people can be free, and these symbols are beautiful, necessary reminders. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. If you enjoyed this episode and want to show your support, please rate and subscribe to our podcast. Together, let's celebrate and honor the legacy of Black history.